Do, 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 do. Good morning. Good morning. It's Monica from Life is Art. And I'm so excited to be showing you the new catalog today. This is the Close to My Heart July August catalog. Look at that cover. Isn't it gorgeous? I'm giving you all just a second to find the live feed. And then we can get started cracking the cover. If you're joining me live, just pop a little note in the comments there to say hello or howdy so I know you're here. And if, um, if you're watching later on replay, you can say replay. I'm just bring it up. I got two videos going on the side just to be certain that I don't lose you all. Good morning, Robin. Good morning, Deborah. And it looks like everything is sitting in the screen okay today. <sighs> Are you guys excited for this catalog? <laughs> it's, um, it feels like it's been a while since we did this, but it hasn't been that long. Again, we've um, moved to um, a two-month catalog again, and so this is July and August, and um, uh, yeah, it's exciting. It's exciting. This uh, front cover looks very summery, and for those of you like Deborah who are sitting out on your cottage right now, you can certainly appreciate the feel of this cover. Um, because we're going into July, August, we're, we're actually heading into like end of summer, fall stuff in this catalog um, because we always have to kind of be a little bit ahead of the season, right? And so you will see that as we crack the cover. Good morning, Linda. Hello, hello. Robin's been up since 6.30. Oh my goodness, two days in a row. <laughs> you know what? Our bodies don't adjust to time off, do, do they? They always just kind of maintain the status quo. I know I tend to do the same where I just wake up at eight, at 6.30. doesn't matter. <laughs> I can go to bed at 2. I wake up at 6.30. Go to bed at 11. I wake up at 6.30. Something about that internal clock over time, it just becomes automatic, right? <laughs> Linda's been getting up early on her time off, too. Uh, did everybody have a lovely Canada Day yesterday? Did you do anything for festivities? Uh, we didn't do a whole lot. I've been busy working on a working on a, a special secret project. Um, as you may have heard, I'm uh, presenting a class at uh, Close to My Heart Convention this year, which is a little bit nerve wracking. Um, but yeah, so I've been working on stuff for that. So uh, you may have seen that I posted my Versamat the other day, but I couldn't show you anything I was making. But uh, let me tell you, <laughs> there was a lot of stuff happening. So eventually you guys will get to see that. Yay! <laughs> All right. So are we ready? Da -da -da -da! Let's get this cover open and start to see the goodness. So, well, before we do that, let's take a look. We've got this gorgeous layout here on the front of the catalog. Just trying to find my center here. <laughs> I've got my um, I've got my video plugged in on the opposite side, so I'm not used to where the camera is. So if you find me doing this a lot, just tell me go left uh, because my camera is lefter lefter than normal. Uh, good morning, Shauna. Yay, Pamela's ready to. Hello, hello. So we have all of these gorgeous pattern papers. I love how they've layered them up. They've done some edge ruffling, distressing on here. We've got some stamping, something really exciting with these stamps. I'll tell you about that when we get to them. I love the little um, die cut seagulls. They're just gorgeous. And of course, you know, cute little photo there. I like how they have all of these straight lines and they're broken up by this lovely little curved journaling spot. And then, of course, the very organic looking clusters of the um, coral and seahorses and all that fun stuff. So let's crack the cover. Of course, at the beginning of every catalog, we have a message from the founder and CEO of Close to My Heart, who's Jeanette Linton. And then there's some information about becoming a maker about becoming a VIP, seriously, guys. If you haven't become a VIP yet, and, and you know, 
just ask any of the VIPs. Uh, it's worth it. <laughs> it's totally worth it. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning, Ellie. So seriously, take a look at that because you will get rewarded for being a VIP. Um, it seems like a lot up front, but basically within your first order, order and a half, you've paid it off and earned some. So no worries about that. Um, let's go. Our first collection, we're starting off right with what's on the cover. And this is a collection called Cape Cod. And it's so funny. As soon as I announced what my um, crop was going to be for last month, you know, the down east, uh, literally like five days later, I got to see the new catalog. <laughs> this was there. I'm like, wow, well, we kind of jumped the gun on that down east thing, didn't we? So, but anyway, we persevered and we had fun. And so now we're going to go on a cruise <laughs> to celebrate this Cape Cod collection. And um, so here we've got a gorgeous array of beautiful colors. We've got periwinkle, bluebird, lagoon, toffee, white daisy in there. It's very soft, very grown up, I must say. Um, the last beach collection we had was very um, bright colors and great for, you know, the kids' photos and things. This one is a little more elegant, a little more classy, or classic, uh, maybe, and um, very much mature as opposed to, you know, um, playing with beach balls. <laughs> this is very much more mature. I think it would be great for people who do uh, diving as well because of all the shells and coral and things. So here on this first page, we have a lovely layout. I love the fan detail on here. And they've even included some, some lines in the background there in between each of the fanned pieces of pattern paper. They added some white gel pen onto the seagulls for some detail. And then the torn paper at the bottom, creating that sort of bottom of the ocean look with the coral and the um, starfish and the shells and all that fun stuff. Loving that. And then we've got a couple little card spirations happening on this side where we've got um, this. <laughs> I told my mom this can be double duty. This fencing um, can also be like I grew up in the country and in the country in the winter along the roadways, they'll, well, kind of back from the road in the field, they'll put snow fencing. So I said, this could actually kind of be snow fencing too. So it could be multi-seasonal. Um, and that keeps the snow from drifting across the road, but they use it on the beach to keep the sand from drifting through walkways and things like that. So if you never knew what that fencing was about, that's what it is. And I love the the lovely background that they've created here with inks and uh, layering up this. I think it's fun that they use this tag and they like hung it on a little string there. Isn't that fun? And then this, you're going to see this gorgeous stamp set in just a moment that creates that scene. Ooh la la. <laughs> Shauna is loving this collection. Yes, Robin, the colors are so pretty. Sometimes we like bright and bold. And other times we like this sort of soft look. Okay, let's get started looking through all the good things. So we have in this collection, we have a sticker sheet. I love that they've given us a nice big uh, view of the sticker sheet here. We've got our pattern papers, our coordinating cardstock. And then we have all of these fun embellishments. And we have the digital art collection. Now you may notice that there is one item missing from this page that we are used to seeing on this page. Normally we see the paper pack and the sticker sheet and the cardstock and the embellishments and the digital art and the picture of my life cards. Because people are not doing as much pocket scrapbooking anymore, um, Close to My Heart has made the decision to um, stop producing the picture of my life cards. So now we get to do all that fun stuff that we would normally do with picture of my life cards with our stamps and our papers and the digital art and things like that. <coughs> so let's take a closer look at the sticker sheet, because although the catalog has a big picture, it's still not the same as looking at the great big sticker sheet. So let me lay it down here first so you can get a good view of it. And again, I'm going left here. <laughs> so there are some really fun sentiments and titles on here and icons. We've got... Um, 
this anchor, which I think is fun because you know what? As much as this is Cape Cod, it can also be cruise, it can be boating, it can be all those fun things that happen on the water. We've got Happy Place, Beach Babe, there's some lovely strips here. This one was used on that layout on the cover. We've got some circles here with a uh, beach umbrella and a little crab. We've got sand under my feet, wind in my hair, salt on my skin. I love how they've done it in a long skinny strip because sometimes that's nice to tuck on a layout. Then we've got, I love this elongated seagull. Isn't he so cute? Quite often we see seagulls kind of squatty and, and squished down and kind of long, but this guy, he's He's a curious seagull, so he's standing upright. And then we've got this lovely seahorse, sun hat, some shells, stars, sun dollars, a few um, flags here. Life's a beach, find your wave, welcome to the beach. Um, some coral, all sorts of different things. I like that they're um, in circles. Sometimes we have where it's just the outline of the thing. This time they're kind of sticking with shapes. Oh, going left. And then we've got wild and free, just like the sea with this beautiful lagoon ombre happening. We've got sun and sea. We've got a lovely journaling circle. And here's a nice little square with um, with a beach chair. Then we've got vitamin C. Let's see what they did there. We all need some vitamin C. Paradise found, sunshine and sea, happy as a clam, a day in the sunshine, beach bum at the shore, beach lover, relax and enjoy. And then these fun zip strips at the bottom, these stickers that are actually that fencing with the sand and little tufts of grasses growing up behind and sort of, you know, the water in the distance. Isn't that super fun? I love how many details are on there. So that is the sticker sheet. Then we're going to bring in the pattern paper for this collection. And um, there are some gorgeous patterns. Sorry, I'm just getting a little farther away from my camera for a second. The first one is this beautiful palm, leafy, luscious, gorgeous lagoon um, pattern. Isn't that beautiful? That reminds me a lot of the um, attire that you would see at the beach or on a cruise or on vacation. Just sort of that lovely leafy goodness. And then the back side of that, of course, how could we not, is a beautiful wood grain. Isn't that beautiful? And I love how it looks sort of like that painted wood um, and weathered looking um, boards. And then the zip strip on this is a gorgeous little row of waves. Because, you know, when you're thinking about the beach and the water, you think about waves. And then we have one that is full of icons, and it's in the beautiful periwinkle color. And there are so many good things on here. We've got the anchors, the coral, this lovely tall seagull. There's a hammock. There's a kayak, or actually that looks like a paddle board. Um, and then there's this little scene with the sand. And we've got flying seagulls. We've got sand dollars. We've got the little... Uh, signboards, we've got trees. I love that it's all not one direction. It can either go this way or it can go this way. There's even pineapples on there, the little crab, the sun hat. So if you want to do something this way, you can. Then if you turn, every time you turn it, you see something new. If you go this way, the boats are the main thing. So if you were doing a layout with, um, with boats, you might want to consider putting your paper this way. I don't know if there's any that go this way. I never checked upside down. Mm, not so much. But three directions on that one. Especially good if you're doing a project where you have to fold your paper back. And um, then it you can see what's on the back side and it's not necessarily upside down. Okay, the next piece of paper we have. Let me see. I got out of order here is this gorgeous one that combines a lot of the colors from the collection, the periwinkle, the um, the lagoon, let me just see, bluebird, all going across there. Which one did I miss? Bluebird, lagoon, periwinkle. Yes, that's it. And this is just lighter of the lagoon. But it's it's made to look like waves, and it says happiness comes in waves over and over and over again. Isn't that beautiful? 
And then the top is a zip strip with all sorts of shells and stars. Gorgeous. Happiness comes in waves. And if you're somebody who enjoys the beach, you know that that's very true. All right, then we've got this gorgeous um, periwinkle page that is all covered in anchors. So for those of you who are doing boating, that would be awesome. But really, it's just a gorgeous um, a gorgeous pattern, right? It doesn't have to necessarily be thematic, <laughs> but gorgeous. And then, of course, we have a lovely stripe, and this is very textile-inspired. And it makes me think of beach blankets and um, towels and the um, like the outdoor fabric that you put on all your beach uh, chairs or your deck chairs, lawn chairs, all those things. And then there is a zip strip of toffee anchors. How lovely is that? So that is the Cape Cod pattern paper collection. We've got leaves, we've got wood, we've got beautiful icons. We've got fun words, we've got anchors, and we've got stripes. Beautiful. All right, let's gather those up, and we're moving on to the coordinating cardstock, which doesn't usually take us much time to look at because it's just cardstock, but we love it. So in this collection, you're going to get three, um, three pieces of white daisy. Not that that's um, super thrilling. <laughs> It's just white daisy. And then you're going to get um, three sheets of toffee. There we go. So I'm showing you. Oh, I'm going off the screen. I knew that was going to happen. I'm too far over. So we've got white. We've got three sheets of toffee. And we've got the true color side and the back side that gives us variety. And then we've got three sheets of lagoon. Again, the front side and then the back side. And then we've got three sheets of periwinkle. So pretty. And that is the coordinating cardstock for this collection. So we've got the browns, the blues, the purpley, bluey grays. So beautiful. Very classy. Okay. And now for the embellishments. So if you see here in the catalog, we've got some... Um, acrylics, these blue ones here are acrylic shapes. And then we also have some white paperboard and some craft paperboard die cuts. And some of them, like this, can be layered up. Um, other ones are just by themselves. So let me bring it in so you can have a little look. So you get a whole pack like this. I forgot to look at the comments. <laughs> Robin's loving the colors. Michelle's loving it. <laughs> Robin, even though we're not doing um, the picture my life cards, the six by eight is still happening. <laughs> no worry about that. Um, and you're a cricket person. You can make all sorts of awesome things on there. Yes, Linda, those beautiful colors. Okay, so in this embellishments pack, we have the white paper board, and so we've got the word life, there's a seahorse, there's um, a little palm tree upside down, we've got the word beach, we've got seagulls, we've got shells, we've got leaves, and then on the larger craft sheet, you have to be careful because these are so intricately cut, and they're so well cut that they all just want to fall out. <laughs> we've got the word life, and then beach, let me just do this. We've got, there we go. We've got the beach is calling and all the boards that you can use to make fun signs. There are um, palms and stars and uh, palm trees. The anchors are here, different shells. I love this fencing, this beautiful coral. So lovely. So those are the paper board. I've got that backwards. There we go. And then in here, we also have the gorgeous blue um, acrylics. Let me just scooch these over a bit. And these are actually kind of like see-through. Like you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but you can see through them. They're kind of translucent. So there's a seahorse and they've done some etching on the one side. And so you can see the lines on the shells. 
There's all sorts of shells. There's a palm tree. There's more shells and the stars and the sand dollars. The anchor, the round shells. There's little hearts. There's seagulls and there's a few little bits of <laughs> cut out bits. Look at all those little seagulls and shells and things that are hidden in there. Beautiful. So much fun inspiration. Now, it'll take me a while to gather those up. So I'm just going to do a little sweep here <laughs> and put them off to the side so I can gather them up later so you don't have to sit here and watch me do that. And I'm just going to stick these on here so I don't lose any good things. Love how this is just kind of falling out there. You know it's well cut when you got to be that careful. Okay, next, I've got a box beside me to hold all the good things. The next thing we're going to do, oh, the digital art collection too. So our, our digital art, um, our SVG files, so they work on whatever machine you have. And of course, you can take them apart and stick them together and you can size them however you want. And all the beautiful icons are there, including this seagull, the gorgeous boat, the fencing, so you can make fencing for your layouts, um, palm trees, pineapples, so many good things on there and some sentiments as well. So there we go. It's making me want to get one of those machines. Good morning, Brenda. Okay, this next page, we have our coordinating stamp set. So we have the card making stamp set over here and the scrapbooking stamp set over here. But as you know, you can use both for both, right? We're not saying you can't. So this um, card making stamp set, of course you knew I had to try it because it's super fun. Look at these um, panels that you get so that you can stamp with different colors of ink and create the scene. And there's little tufts of grass. Thank you. It's a good day for a birthday. Thank you, um, thinking of you during this hard time, little seagulls. And so let's take a look at the artwork here up close. We have a beautiful thank you card here. And of course, they've used the anchors in the background just as a lovely pattern paper to frame what they have done here with the stamping. And so they have stamped here using Periwinkle and Bluebird to create this. And then the bottom here is with toffee ink and then um, some, I guess um, that might be rosemary, maybe, <laughs> a green of some kind. And um, if you notice, if you're looking at this artwork, that it looks like all different shades. It's not because they've stamped it once or twice. It's because that's the way the stamp is created. And they have been working on that technique of creating a stamp that will do those sort of lighter shades all in the same stamp for quite a while and without it being too pixely. And they have succeeded. So you will see this in these two stamp sets on this page. And this one here, they've used that beautiful wood grain, the lovely leaves on top. They've done a little bit of edge distressing, pardon me, on here to create that fun look. This one even looks, well, it's not torn, but it's really heavily edge distressed. Then they've done their stamping with the periwinkle and the lagoon, and then the, the toffee as well. So it's almost the same scene from one to the other, but it's a different look. I love how they've got lots of seagulls over here and a few little sparkles. And it looks like they've even colored those sparkles with marker, the clear sparkles. And then here they've got some of the um, little heart embellishments. So pretty. The next page, we have the scrapbooking stamp set. And, um, and it comes with thin cuts as well. And I actually have the thin cuts because this is what came in the launch bundle. Sometimes I don't bother with the thin cuts, but they're in here. So um, I love this. <laughs> it's so funny. The thing that nobody notices is the thing that I love. This is rope. I think that is super cool and it would work for so many different things. It doesn't have to be for a sea thing. It could be for a ranch thing. It could be for, um, you know, like rock climbing. It could be for so many things. Uh, so I love that we have this little nice little rope stamp. There's an anchor. 
and a shell and then the beautiful seahorse and coral and crab and then some sentiments. So let's take a look at them up close because this is actually bigger than what you see on the picture of the stamp. And again, they have done this technique where you get multiple tones in your one stamp. So there's dark lines and then lighter shading in behind. And then the coral and the crab has that same thing where there's darker spots and lighter spots. You can find me soaking up the sun, playing in the sand, swimming in the sea, paradise found, and then that beautiful rope again with different um, intensities of color. And on this beautiful layout here, I love how they've grounded it with this large wood grain circle. <clears throat> then they've got panels of the beautiful pattern paper in behind. They've used that rope to create a border all along here, a little strip of that um, striped pattern paper, and then layering up all these good things, some tucked behind, some on top, with a gorgeous picture from the beach. How gorgeous is that? I like that they used the white uh, paperboard seagulls on top of that um, wood grain paper. It really makes them stand out. All right, next page, we have the Cape Cod Scrapbooking Workshop Kit. And as usual, it creates three double page layouts. In the kit, you're going to get the pattern paper collection. You're going to get some cardstock, <coughs> not the full coordinating cardstock, um, but you're gonna get uh, one periwinkle, one lagoon, two white daisy. Um, Sorry, two lagoon, <laughs> one periwinkle, two lagoon, two, light, two white daisy. Then you're going to get an exclusive set of pattern paper. So these stripes and this wash paper are exclusive to this collection. And then there's also die cuts. You're going to get the sticker sheet and you're going to get um, an exclusive set of Cape Cod embellishments for this. The additional supplies, they say, are a black pen, foam tape, glue dots, and the white gloss spray. So if you happen to have that in your collection of stashed goodies, then you will want that for this if you want to do the optional technique. I love how they've used the stripes in behind here. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm gonna take a sip of my water while y'all look at this page. I love that these are pictures of this young guy in the water. Look at the dolphin. Oh, how fun. But this makes me think of, you know, a nice warm towel when he gets out. We've got sun and sea. I love this sort of postage stamp edge on that layout. Um, um, little image there. <laughs> my words, my words are failing me and my eye is what my eye is watering. There we go. And then you will see that there's some large coral here that's larger than what comes in the regular set of die cuts. And you might see little hints of that white gloss spray actually sprayed. And that is one thing that we haven't done a lot of is actual spraying with the gloss spray. Usually you see us and we're just flicking the color because um, it's sometimes a pain <laughs> to clean the sprayer on those. But um, this one is going to show you a fun technique. I love these huge letters, and I also love that they have put photos in behind them. And they're not, you know, they're not the portrait photos. They're the picture of the beach. So it's just picture, but it's not, you know, something where you need to see somebody's face. This one is just the feet in the sand, and that totally works. And then we've got here the lovely exclusive striped paper. Isn't that beautiful? Bringing in some yellows and pinks along with the lagoon and the periwinkle. I love this little cluster with all those circles that we saw on the sticker sheet. And then a lovely row of photos. The next um, layout we have is the wood grain as the base. And this is where you can really see the optional technique that they're going to... Um, tell you about, sorry, going left, <laughs> and that is um, to spray very lightly around the edges, and it creates that sort of sandy, water-worn look, um, in the, like the salty look, you know how you've 
been to the beach and things got a little, little bit of salt on them if you've been in the ocean. So that's really fun. I love all these circles here and this large arrow, the little seagulls. And then they carry the circles over here as well. Nice little cluster of embellishments. Beautiful. All right, so that is the scrapbooking workshop kit. And <laughs> Joanne says, it looks awesome. Woohoo! <laughs> and then we have the card making workshop kit. And um, so in a card work making workshop kit, if you've never purchased one before, let me show you what you get. So for this one, you are going to get, very important, the instructions. <laughs> Number one, when you buy the kits in the catalog, you get printed color instructions. When you buy specials online, um, like the current, um, uh, what's the one that just came out yesterday? Um, oh, I can't think of it. <laughs> Memory Lane. Memory Lane. There are um, scrapbooking and card making workshops, but those are ones you have to download because those are specials. But the ones in the catalog, you always get the pre-printed full color um instructions in the pack. So you get your instructions. Then you also get all of the card bases and envelopes that you need. So you get a whole handful of card bases and envelopes. And so whatever sizes you need, they're in here. So we have some slim lines as well as some standard card bases and the coordinating envelopes. Then you get whatever embellishment they're including. So in this case, some clear sparkles. Then you also get the stamp and die set because the um, card making kit always comes with a stamp and die set. And this one is really interesting because you get the stamps that create kind of backgroundy stamp bits. You get some sentiments, just a little hello from me. Thank you. You're so special. Shell, get it? And let's celebrate. But then you get the die cuts for the shells. So the, the shells are not a stamp. They are a die. So there's the stamps, and then the dies are these beautiful shells, and you can see all the detail. So it's going to be cutting out the shell, and it's also going to be um, cutting and embossing little lines all over them. And um, they're going to show you a technique to kind of accentuate all of those details. And then you get your um, papers. So for this one you're getting the bulk paper pack, which is the stripes on one side and the leaves on the other. Not the pack, bulk papers. And then you're also getting these card stocks. So let's take a look at the cards that it creates. And it creates, uh, I believe, 16 cards, yes, for each of four designs. And so you're going to create this beautiful slim line here I love how it's got strips going this way, but then it's also got the square panels, which is lovely on a slimline card. And do you see the gorgeous shading that is happening on these shells that have just been die cut out of White Daisy, but they show the optional technique using your ink pad and a water brush um, to create a realistic look. And then we've got this gorgeous one here. I love the torn edge on the bottom of this wood grain, the stripes going down the center, some white gel pen, doing some faux stitching all the way around. And again, these have been cut with um, periwinkle. And then I believe toffee is being used to add the details to this. And then down here, I love these two triangles coming in from either side little bit of splattering with the toffee ink and then some die cut toffee um, that looks like on the light side of toffee and also the little zip strip from that paper. Here we've got nice strips of gorgeous goodness going across here layering up. They got a little sparkle on there. I love this. Let's celebrate and then again some faux stitching and they're going to show you a little bit how to do um, the texture on the back of this, I think too. Yes, yes. I'm gonna guess that that might be sanding that's happening. Oh no, sorry. That's this stamp. Silly me. <laughs> a 
So all these patterns, you know how we had the lovely pattern paper with the leaf in the collection? We're actually creating that with the stamp and then this gorgeous background here that looks like it's been sanded. It totally tricked me. Has been done with this um, background distressy stamp. Super fun. Michelle says she wants everything. Katie, good morning. You're late to the party. That's okay. We're only just starting our second collection because you know once we get to the, to the end of the card making workshop kit that we're going to turn the page. Who's excited to see what's on the next page? We have finished Cape Cod and we're moving on to our second collection. Da, 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 da. It is called Cozy Up. And of course, like I said at the beginning... We are moving into the fall season, even though summer literally just started. <laughs> okay, so my daughter, true story, um, her last day of school was on Thursday. Okay, Thursday morning, I got an email, back to school sale. I'm like, okay, like literally hasn't finished school for the year. And back to school sale is already starting. So silly. <laughs> but we need to get our crafting supplies ready before the season happens. Yes? Yes, we of course do. And we, I don't know about you, but I random scrapbook and random card make. And so I just pull stuff from whenever. Yes, Michelle, fall, your favorite color. Awesome. <laughs> Good morning, Marilyn. How's your dad doing? <clears throat> okay, so cozy up. And this one has... Uh, let me just read through all the colors that are in this layout right here. Desert Rose, Scarlet, Rosemary, Sage, Pine, Honey Butter, Paprika, Toffee, Shortbread, and Mocha. Okay, if you take out uh, just a few of them, like Pine <laughs> and Scarlet and the Rose, everything in there sounds delicious. Um, I don't know about you, but fall is a time of deliciousness. And so we've got rosemary, sage, honey butter, paprika, toffee, shortbread, and mocha. If you take out the ones that are just colors and not words that sound delicious. <laughs> and so all the good things happen in the fall, right? So this collection is called Cozy Up. And I love it because it's fall, but it's also not Halloween. It's not necessarily Thanksgiving. Um, it's just fall and all the things that you do in the fall, at least the things I do, because, you know, I'm not so much a get out and hike the trails kind of person. So here we have this gorgeous layout. I love the dark red in the background and they've layered up with um, a lighter color and then they've used their journal pen to create a hand-drawn border. And then look at all those beautiful layers of paper and pattern and goodness, and it makes you want to feel cozy when you see all those patterns just kind of piled on top of each other. It makes you think of a pile of quilts, and you just want to snuggle up and, um, you know, drink something warm and have a lovely afternoon <laughs> and go right into evening and bedtime. No need to not have anything but pajamas on during that time. So it's so beautiful. Thankful for you. And um, there's some gorgeous pumpkins and leaves. And one of the things that I'm loving from this collection is there's a little snail. Oh my gosh. I don't know about you, but we always have snails around our house. So that is super fun. And books. You can see a little theme of books coming along here. Then on this page, we have a couple cards for inspiration. I love, again, the hand-drawn border here. A little bit of inking in behind the sentiment some lovely strips of pattern paper, a few little flags, some little sparkles, and then this gorgeous pumpkin sticker. And then down here, we've got a beautiful plaid in mocha on the background, and this piece of paper here that might look to you like just a pattern, but when we get a little farther in, you'll see that it's actually covered in words. I love the vertical stripes here, and the gorgeous circle with, again, a hand-drawn border. Don't be afraid to get out that journal pen and add a little edge. Um, and then some things tucked in behind. So let's flip over the page so you can see what all is in there. Linda's loving these colors. Oh, Marilyn, I'm glad your dad's doing better. Yeah, recovering from his surgery. And <clears throat> Marilyn says, ooh, pretty, I like. <laughs> Linda's loving the colors. 
Uh, <laughs> right, Brenda? It just makes you want to cuddle up and, and read a book and, you know, drink some hot chocolate or some tea or some coffee. Whereas, you know, you know, Deborah's right now sitting on her deck, you know, <laughs> looking at the water. But this makes you want to cuddle up inside. Anyway, so we have our pattern paper, our sticker sheet, a beautiful array of coordinating cardstocks. Don't you just love that color color feel? Then we've got some um, some dots, and then of course our um, digital collection. Why do, I always want to call it a Cricut collection because we used to call it that, but it's a digital collection because you can use it on anything. It doesn't have to be Cricut. And so let's take a look at the ooh la la sticker sheet. Look at that goodness. Okay. Immediately I was drawn to the strips at the bottom. So we're going to start at the bottom. Do you see what I see? Look at that. Isn't that fun? I'm going to move to the left. Those strips at the bottom are stickers and they are rows of books. How fun is that? Oh my gosh. Do you have a librarian in your life? This would be perfect. Even if you don't, you have a really avid reader in your life. And then we've got some beautiful words happening down here. Yes, loving the books. We've got drink tea, read books, be happy, gather, be a reader, sweet as pie, a snuggle state of mind, snuggle up, grateful, welcome autumn, thankful for you. We've got a nice open book with all the leaves kind of furled out. <clears throat> and then we get into the more traditional pumpkins, cornucopias, fall leaves, because, you know, we can't not have those. And then, of course, for those of us who are getting a little <clears throat> older, we have our readers here because we, we need our reading glasses <clears throat> when we look at our books. But then look, the cute little snail just tucked right in there and the little mushrooms. We've got some cups and we've got some piles of books here and here. <clears throat> I love how this one's been tied up with a little bit of twine and there's some little foliage and fungus <laughs> tucked in under the string. So for those of you who like to read out in nature or just in nature lovers, maybe gardeners, a little pot of jelly, some uh, teapot. Look at that. Even the cozy socks are there. There's that beautiful sticker pumpkin. Lots of little hearts sprinkled throughout. Good books are like best friends. I love that. So many books, so little time. How beautiful is that? Oh my goodness. I love that it's fall and you can definitely do, you know, Thanksgiving and back to school and all that kind of stuff. But it's, it's very much about reading and me time. I always think reading is like the best me time because <laughs> nobody else has to do it. Although you can do it with a friend. You can, you can read with your kids. I did that lots and lots, you know. <laughs> but um, it's also me time if you're a, a reader who enjoys reading. Let's take a look at the papers. Oh, wowsy, wowsy. Look at that. All those beautiful pumpkins. I like that it's not um, viney. Sometimes we get pumpkins and they're very viney and leafy. This is very much just a pattern of pumpkins. And I like that. I love all the shades. We've got Desert Rose on there. We've got Paprika. We've got Honey Butter. Um, there's a little bit of Scarlet. Beautiful. And then the back side of that is this really fun one with books and teapots and stacks of books and the reading glasses. And some leaves and acorns thrown in for good measure. Beautiful, fun pattern. Makes you want to just have an afternoon of snuggling and reading. And then look at this one. This is the one I was talking about. You're going to see later that it's not just um, a scarlet and paprika background. It has words on it. And I don't know if I can get it close enough for you to see the words. Because they're tiny words, which I like. Because they're there, but they're barely there, right? So we've got pumpkin, kisses, falling leaves, books to read, autumn wishes. Um, I think that might be the extent of it. <laughs> falling leaves, book to read, autumn wishes, pumpkin kisses. Isn't that fun? And then it just repeats itself all over. 
and it creates such a gorgeous pattern. The back side of that one is this beautiful small scale leaf pattern and it's nice to have large scale so the pumpkins are a large scale the ones with the books sort of large to medium and that this is a small scale pattern this is especially good for card making but also for mixing and matching if everything was large it would just be too much if everything was little it would be overwhelming so you need to have a mix of um, things that are just more textural, small scale, large scale, and then plain too. And then here we have um, a zip strip and it's got that same sentiment as what's on this pattern paper, but it's done with a mocha background, but it's also got all of the colors kind of washed in across it, which I think is beautiful. Then we have this one, which is beautiful scarlet and mocha very tiny stripe and it's kind of reminiscent of a wood grain or a textile or corduroy. I think my most <laughs> my most common thought when I look at this is corduroy and um, wouldn't that be great if you had a picture of you reading corduroy bear? <laughs> but um, it just has that cozy feel like you want to reach out and touch it or veluri kind of feel. And then the last one is this beautiful mocha plaid, three little stripes, go, sorry, four little stripes going each direction. And then a beautiful multicolored zip strip that just brings it all together. Also kind of reminds you of looking at books from the wrong way around. You know how you usually put them on the shelf with spines out? This is what the backside would look like, right? So you've got all the colored covers and then you've got the pages in between. So that is the Cozy Up Pattern Paper Collection. How gorgeous is this? Yes, Joanne, I like your word. It's scrumptious. <laughs> Robin says, you have a huge bookshelf. Yep, absolutely. Linda likes the sticker sheet. And then Marilyn likes the fuzzy socks. Who doesn't like fuzzy socks? Actually, possibly a few people because some people don't like the feel of socks on their feet, let alone fuzzy feel. <laughs> oh, Marilyn says we can fussy cut and put little faces on the pumpkins. Awesome. So in our paper co uh, coordinating card stock, we have white daisy, a couple sheets of white daisy. Then we have a couple sheets of mocha, true color and lighter color on the other side. We've got paprika. I just love putting these out and looking at all the colors. Then we've got honey butter, mocha and honey butter. Oh my goodness, so pretty. And then we've got sage, true color side, light side. And then we have scarlet. Beautiful. It's like a rainbow of fall. Just makes you want to dive into the covers. <laughs> a rainbow of fall. Alrighty. And then we have our embellishments, and these are really fun. They are adhesive-backed enamel and glitter dots in scarlet, paprika, and toffee. Let me take them out here so you can see. So they have scarlet, paprika, and toffee. Let me grab a piece of paper here. There we go. Not even coordinating, but whatever. Um, so the scarlet has the round dots that are glittery, um, the paprika, round dots that are glittery, and the toffee, round dots are glittery. So the hearts and stars are just the plain color, but all the dots are glittery. How fun is that? It's very similar to what, um, to what we had with the freshly baked collection, where some of the items were, um, we're glitter based. So fun. So that's lovely. And then of course the digital collection. Let me lift it up so you can see there's beautiful um, items that you can have for a layout. And I love these gorgeous big leaves. Then there's some um, sentiments. And you notice here that this looks like a repeat, but it's because of the American versus in, um, British slash Canadian slash Australian spelling of the word. 
And on to the next chapter. Isn't that a fun title? Thankful for you. You're my cup of tea. Beautiful card layout. Then there's books and pumpkins and the snail mushrooms, all sorts of fun things on there for those of you who are digitally inclined. And for some reason, my video stopped on my laptop, but it's still going on my phone. So <laughs> so I know that it's a-okay. -okay. Oh, there we go. I just restarted it. Yes, beautiful shiny colors. All right, turning the page, we have some stamp sets. And you know me, I love my stamp sets. I always have to get stamp sets. Now, this one I do not have yet, but it's on my next order. Because uh, you can't buy everything all at once. You have to budget it out a bit, right? So this one over here is the Card Making Cozy Up Stamp and Thin Cuts. And there's beautiful pumpkins. So you can create your own pumpkins any color. Then there's the little mushrooms, big and small. And a snail. Thankful for you. Hello, friend. Let's take a look at the artwork. And I love this. They've created a beautiful little shaker with some clear gems, as well as the gold stars in there. They've done some splattering with probably the gold, actually, I was going to say it was the gold glitter or gloss spray, but I think it's maybe toffee ink or paprika ink that's been splattered in there. Lovely stripes. And then this nice little cluster of the pumpkins and the mushrooms. And they've even added some speckly stickles, Marilyn, on the edges of the pumpkins. Lovely. Over here, we've got round edges on this one, which is beautiful. Not something I always think of, but they've rounded the outside edges on here. And I like it. And then they've even done, with their journaling pen, a stitched border that follows that round shape. And um, I think it looks really nice because we've got these gorgeous round pumpkins here again. They've layered it up with the snail and mushrooms, with beautiful stripes of the pattern paper in the back. And they've heat embossed, thankful for you, onto the mocha plaid. A few little sparkles thrown in there. So pretty. Next page, we have the scrapbooking stamp set and thin cuts. And I have the stamp set, of course. You knew I had to get it. It's got books. <laughs> I need to read more. Um, so that is this scrapbooking stamp set. And it's got the big pile of books. It's got the open books. It's got, I love this, the teacup. But then in the little swirl here, they have included the leaves, which is kind of fun. Leaves are falling. Books are calling. Just one more chapter. That's great for a layout, right? Because, you know, there's times when you're just like, one more, just one more, just one more. And that's how I used to read several books a week when I was uh, younger and could go to the library all the time on the way home from school. Um, I would take out like five or six books. And then the next week I'd be back for five or six more books. And the lady at the library was like, what the heck? <laughs> how did you read all those? Oh, just one more chapter. So basically, I don't sleep. Um, my weekend is booked. I love that. Cozy up with a good book and a cup of tea. And then if you notice, okay, so it's only showing this. But on the layout, they use the Z. So my guess is, is that there's, um, well, I could check. <laughs> I'm trying to guess. I don't need to guess. I can look. Um, okay. So there is probably, um, when you're ordering, you need to order based on your um, preferred spelling. So I have the one with the E, which has the S. And then there's obviously another one you can order with a Z. So when you're ordering, pay attention because you'll have to choose your preferred spelling of the word cozy. Cozy or cozy. Up to you. Um, and it'll be a diff slightly different code. The E usually stands for the, like the British E version. <laughs> and then let's take a look at this artwork. This, um, this one is super fun. They did the same thing where they um, broke up all the squares with this circle, and then they added the other half of the circle down here for a journaling spot. I love all the layers of um, stamping and photos and all of the patterns here. They've tucked in that bookshelf 
And of course here, I hope they didn't put the whole strip across. I hope they just cut a little chunk. <laughs> why waste that beautiful long uh, zip strip sticker? And then the torn edges here at the bottom, you never tear your books, but you can tear your paper for scrapbooking. A nice little journaled edge around that mocha background. Beautiful. So gorgeous. Okay, next we have the scrapbooking workshop kit. And you're going to get uh, the paper pack and sticker sheets, some coordinating cardstock. You're going to get a couple exclusive uh, pattern papers, all the die cuts that you need. There's even a stencil in here, and I'll tell you a little bit about that in a minute. You also get some of the dots, and um, you get to choose whether you include um, memory protectors or not. That's up to you. And so the featured technique in here is to sponge and stencil with some oxide inks using that stencil. And so you can see that here in layout number one, where they have got these lovely little glowing spots in the background here, where they've done some sponging and they've stenciled the little diamond pattern on there, mixed in some of those sparkly dots, even over here. And um, they've got that lovely book zip strip on there. I like how they have created sort of a vertical portion here and added all these lovely stamps and sticker sentiments going all the way down. And see this one here? These good books are like best friends. They chopped the sticker and stuck part here and part here. How fun is that? Just one more chapter done in a big die cut beautiful. I love that they've got one photo that's a little off. Um, and then we move on to layout number two with that gorgeous mocha plaid in the background and then layered up with some of that exclusive paper, the big polka dots that looks like shortbread. We've got the words here. I like how they've kind of mirrored the layout, but this side has two photos. This side has more and um, layering up with all those fun things. These leaves in the background, those are stenciled. And the interesting thing about this is you're going to use the stencil to create leaves. And then as I move over to the next layout over here, which layout was it? Where am I going? We stenciled the leaves. And then I don't know what I'm talking about. Where was I going with this? Um, nope, I'm, I'm thinking of the card making workshop kit. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. I knew there's a thing. There's a thing. So that you stencil the leaves. Okay. <laughs> and then this layout again has that exclusive pattern paper here that's not part of the collection. Look at all these gorgeous strips fanned out around this um, square in the center, layered up with the photo and stickers. And then on this side, we've got the same thing happening. We've got the same center square, but a different pattern going around to create a different look, but cohesive. And then a lovely fan of tags up here. Quite often we'll put one or two tags, three tags, but this is a whole fan of tags. Um, and then fanned down here, which brings in that feel from this other side. Beautiful. So that is the scrapbooking workshop kit. All right. And the green is a color that's um, not brought in really a lot in a big way in the other ones. Uh, when you look at the coordinating card stocks, I don't think there's any green. But in this one, they did. And it's the rosemary. So, you know, this is a little hint. When you're looking through the catalog and you see different artwork, um, quite often they'll tell you what colors are used. And um, that gives you a hint of other colors you can pull in with your um, pattern papers and your card stocks that are the ones that are supposed to go with it. You can always add something else. So rosemary looks lovely on this. Oh, <laughs> Robin was telling me it's still playing. Uh, Michelle says, love it and want it all. <laughs> okay, so this is the part where I was, you know, got my brain lost and was trying to describe something that didn't exist in the card in the workshop for the scrapbooking, but it's in the card making. So this is the card making workshop kit. And of course I had to get it because you know, I, you do because <laughs> look at this, 
Look at this fun thin cut that creates this swirly circle thing here. Um, you know, even if that's all you buy your card kit for, is worth it. <laughs> I like my thin cuts because I don't use, I don't have a Cricut or a Silhouette or any of those things. So I have to use thin cuts. And so, of course, as usual, you get the full color instructions. Then you're going to get all of your card bases and envelopes and all the different sizes. And this one has slimline and standard, just like the other one. There's also an exclusive wood grain paperboard with arrows that you get. That's the lovely embellishment. And then you get the stamp and the die cuts. And so anything that you see in there that's um, gray or lines, that's stamp. And anything that's blue, those are thin cuts. Okay, so you're going to get the stamp and thin cuts for all these. And this is only a thin cut. And then you've got autumn greetings. Happy birthday. Thanks so much. And then you're going to get your papers and your card stocks as well in there. Let me move these out of the way. And then I'll show you the artwork up close so you can see what's happening. Put this over. Okay. So take a look at these gorgeous cards. Move to the left. <laughs> and this is what I was trying to explain, that there's a featured technique of sponging and stenciling, just like there was on the other one. But this way is kind of, it's not really stenciling, it's masking. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your thin cuts and you're going to cut out the leaves and then you're going to stick the leaves down on your paper and you're going to sponge colors all over and you can even use a little dab of adhesive on there if you want um, like the repositionable adhesive. You're going to dab, 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 dab with your sponge and it's going to create this beautiful multicolored soft dreamy fall pattern but in the process of dab dab dabbing with your sponge all your leaves are going to get colored and they're going to be all various colors right you're going to create your own beautiful leaves <laughs> it's like a two-in-one you're getting the masking to create a background and you're also coloring your leaves at the same time how awesome is that so then those are used as decoration on the card. So we've got this beautiful slim line with the gorgeous circle. Thanks so much. Some of those die cut paperboard arrows. Then we've got this one here. It's got the mocha plaid and the beautiful leaves. Then a little bit of the shortbread going across. I love how they've made a center here. And they've even done some, um, I don't know if you can see it but well enough there. They've done some like... Um, shortbread and scarlet all on the same stamp where they've done I'm trying to think what's it called like ombre stamping there you go and they've even added some white gel pen on the paperboard a little bit of stitching this is beautiful again a different color than this one a nice green probably the rosemary and then of course look at those beautiful and I love you know, if you had to sit there and individually color all the leaves, you'd be like, oh my gosh, but you're going to use it for the masking anyway. So it's going to be 99% done. Love all the little tags there. Again, they've put some dots on the paperboard and then uh, another beautiful circle and an arrow and they've drawn on that as well. Happy birthday and some leaves. Um, I love that they included a happy birthday in there because what is the card that we most often send? Yes, we send thank you cards. But most often we send birthday cards because um, autumn greetings is only going to happen, you know, for the fall. <laughs> but birthday lasts all the time and is a nice little hand, hand scripty kind of birthday greeting. All right. Next page, we have the mix-ins. The mix-ins. Yes, Brenda, the card making kits um, have beautiful stamp sets. I agree with it. And that's usually why I buy the kits, because I like the stamp set or the thin cuts. <laughs> oh, Katie's in the same boat as you, Michelle. She's She needs it all. So these are the beautiful mix-in papers. And the idea behind the mix-in papers is that there are papers here that um, coordinate with both collections in the catalog. But they also 
work just as pattern paper that work with anything. And I love that they started doing this, oh, about a year and a half ago, where the mix-ins are just solid color. Um, so it doesn't have to be specific to any particular collection because they're just colors. So if you just need another um, pattern that's the sapphire color, you can go to the mix-in. If you need another pattern that is honey butter, go to your mix-in and pull out the pattern paper and it's there and it will match. I love that everything matches. So we have a beautiful stripe in sapphire. Isn't that beautiful? And I love that it's kind of like torn, but inside the sapphire, there's also texture. Like, um, it's almost like they took, they painted it and then they took, you know, back in the day where you used to take crunch up um, saran wrap, plastic wrap, and then smoosh it down. It's similar-ish to that. And so there's the beautiful stripe. And the back side is this gorgeous geometric diamond. And then at the top, we've got a beautiful geometric sort of twining. It looks very, um, like Greek, like you would see on tile work, this one to me, this whole back side and a stripe on the other. Now, the mix-ins, you get six pieces of paper, 12 patterns. So if you need a whole sheet of something, but you also like the other one, you're going to want to buy two packs. <laughs> that's that's the only thing about mix-ins. And then we have a glacier pattern, this gorgeous, very summery looking check. And then on the back side, this beautiful stripe with, um, again, a geometric design zip strip. So I love that they're not like crazy patterns in the mix-ins. They're just very usable patterns and, uh, and beautiful. And then here we have the uh, sage. And this one is just sort of a little speckly pattern all over it. Very nice and petite. And then on this side is a little diamond, but it's kind of distressed diamond. There's a little bit of um, variation there. And then a zip strip with circles that are in the sapphire, glacier, sage, and honey butter. Kind of half and half circles. Sorry, my hand is wobbling, whether you can actually see that. And then we have a very teeny tiny random dot on sort of a striated honey butter. <laughs> I don't know if that's a great way to explain it, but it's very soft, very tone on tone. And there's a little bit of distressing that kind of goes horizontally. And then this teeny tiny little speckledy dot. And then the backside is a stitched check or plaid. It looks very much like a tea towel <laughs> and summery. And then a beautiful sort of odd shaped, odd shaped. I gotta love my descriptions. Odd shaped uh, zip strip in multiple colors. And then we have the toffee, nice big dots, sort of a medium size pattern. And then the back side is another beautiful plaid. It's, this one is straight on. A lot of our plaids are on the diagonal. And then look, that rope detailing across the top that goes so well with the Cape Cod. And then the last one is this beautiful mink color, just very soft and leafy, so pretty. And then the back side is another plaid that looks very much like a textile as well. And then um, a little bit of stars, because, you know, the stars come out even when you're at the beach. And even when you're reading a book at night, the stars are out. Oh, I didn't put it down far enough for you to see zip strips, but there we go. I'll flip this one over so you can see that zip strip all together. But that is the mix-in collection in those gorgeous colors. And that is all for showing you paper in this catalog. But let me just take a look at this artwork. You will see some of the patterns mixed in from both collections, moving left. In the catalog, I love that they have done that, where you've got fall happening down here, and then you've got some of the beachy stuff up here, again, then pulling in the fall. And it's interesting, these little strips um, kind of creating almost like a parquet, but it's coming across like this, and then it kind of changes direction and goes 
this way. Super fun because it's a little asymmetrical and then the strips at the top and the bottom. I think that is super cute and kind of a little quirky and a little fun, which really goes along with the photos in this layout. This little dude here with um, <laughs> balancing all his apples. And uh, they've also done a little bit of ink, just ink blending a little bit in behind to create a nice soft look. A few little stickers on there. Gorgeous. So let's turn the page. And you know now that we've done with our um, papers. Got to start my video again because it decided to stop again. Now that we've done with our papers, we also get to move on to the part of the catalog where all the stamps are. And I always love these papers. <laughs> hey, Jennifer. Nice to see you're watching. Um, I, sorry, I, I like to see these pages where they do the display with the papers and the stamps. And it gives you lots of little ideas of what you could create, right? Um, don't ever throw away your catalog. Well, I mean, you can throw away your catalogs, but also use them as a resource because there's so many good artwork ideas in here. So you can see we've got some of our um, Cape Cod influence happening here and here. And then we've got our Cozy Up influence happening here. We've got some fall. Look at that little penguin just popping in. No worries. And then we got this little lion over here. We've got pandas over here. We've got a tooth fairy. Oh, my goodness. Um, so many beautiful things. A little budgie, a little flowers, a little race day. Lots of different things to look at. And so that is beautiful. I love how on this race day one, well, why don't I just pick it up so you can see. Um, they've done some ombre stamping with three different colors. I think probably Sundance and Nectarine and Paprika to create that look all across the same stamp. And um, here they have used uh, background stamps to create some pattern paper. They've done some stitching, actual stitching. <laughs> Here, I love how they've used circles just to create a lovely pattern in the background. This is gorgeous. I believe this is just done with watercolor pencils, this coloring on this bird. Oh my goodness, so pretty. And then we've got our little scarecrow here. And again, he's colored with pe uh, watercolor pencils and not, um, not activated, just like you would with a pencil crayon. And then there's a little bit of uh, gold stickles on those leaves for a little bit of sparkle. Then we've got some little Tooth Fairy action. He's been colored up with some markers. And I, I love how all you really need to do is a little outline. You know, you don't have to color the whole thing. He's a white tooth, hopefully. <laughs> and um, lots of great ideas for coloring. I love this. Um, background of clouds that's created here. So pretty little pandas. Okay, first page. Look at this collection. Now everybody has gone ooh la la gaga <laughs> over this. And I'll tell you what this is in a second. <laughs> Pardon me. But I should also tell you that if you try to go on the website today and purchase the bundle, or a couple of the individual pieces. They are not in stock right now. They will be back in stock. They didn't get a full shipment. And it was also some of these pieces were included in the um, album retreat. And so they didn't they don't they don't have enough. <laughs> so some of them are out of stock, but they are coming in. So don't panic. You can um the, they have the bundle here, but you can buy the individual pieces. It's all the same price. Uh, the only difference the bundle makes is, um, A, you only have to order one thing. Um, but B, if you're doing a party and you have a half price item, um, that makes a difference. But otherwise, you can still buy the individual pieces and then get the ones that are out of stock right now when they come in. So with all that being said, what is this? So this first um, page here, this section this is Sprigs and Leaves Stamp Set. So if I could cover this up, 
this whole thing here are stamps. So you've got some little berries, some flowers, a bunch of leaves, and then the details for the leaves. Okay, so that's the stamps. And then up here, just this, we have the Sprigs and Leaves Slimline Thin Cut. So this little spot up here, that's a thin cut. So it creates a stitched edge and it cuts out all these beautiful leaves to create a gorgeous background. Okay, not only that, you then have cut out leaves that you can use. So it's doing double duty. It's creating a lovely slimline background, but it's also creating all those lovely leaves. Then this one here is the embossing folder. So just this here, that's an embossing folder. How cool is that? Right? And if you'll notice, they actually do match. So I wonder if you can emboss and didn't cut and actually line it up good enough. Depends on your skill level. I don't know if you would need to emboss and then thin cut, because, you know, whatever. But if you only want them to be embossed, there's an embossing folder. And then number four down here, these two items together, so those are stencils. So you've got one that does the full leaf, and then you've got one that does some of the leaves and um, the shading, okay? So over here is the artwork, now that I've explained all that. <laughs> it's a big set. So over here, here they have just done stamping and stenciling. So what they did was they did the stenciling first, in my, in my humble opinion. They did the stenciling first and then stamped. Um, because I don't know how you would get your stamps in the right spot <laughs> to do it otherwise, okay? So they, uh, and they... It could be embossed, but it doesn't look. It looks like it was just stenciled and stamped. So they stenciled their leaves. They stenciled the second layer with all the detail. Then they went ahead and stamped and um, added, you know, the veins and the outsides and everything. They've got their little berries scattered around. And, and then they've layered up with some papers. So pretty. Um, stenciling to color things like this makes the coloring go so much quicker and easier. And then this one, they've used the die cut to create the dark green frame. Then they stenciled in behind. See that? So they've got stenciling and it looks like a few stamped ones as well, just for a little extra texture. And then they've overlaid with that die cut bit, added on a gorgeous circle with some, um, white gel pen stitching, and then of course some of the cutouts, they've inked them up a little bit and added them on top, stamped a sentiment. Beautiful. Yes, it all coordinates together, Michelle. Isn't that gorgeous? So, hey Heather, nice to see you're watching. So again, when you go on, you can see it on there. Um, it's, it's just that I believe the embossing folder, the die cuts, Yes, the embossing folder and the die cuts and the bundle are unavailable because those things were in the album retreat. <laughs> so they're waiting for the rest of the shipment to come in. It should be in before the end of the month. Okay, then on our next page, we have this summer stamp set. Doesn't this just say summer over here? It literally says summer. Look at that. So on this summer stamp set, We've got the large word summer, and it's got like California beachy skyline in the background. Isn't that fun? I love the glasses with the mountains in the background. So it's summer, but it doesn't have to be beach, right? This looks beachy. This looks mountainy. Super fun. It's like the shades with the reflection. We've got a beach ball. We've got a nice little scene here with the setting sun or the rising sun. It says happy. We've got fun in the sun. We've got some palm trees, the sun, a leaf. And this is a lovely evergreen strip, like a forest in the background. Kind of goes with our mountains. Sorry, I got hiccups. Here in the artwork, we have layered up some Cape Cod pattern paper. I love how they've kind of flipped the border. So we've got colors here and here. And then, look, they did that evergreen on Lagoon, something you wouldn't necessarily think of. Um, and their pictures don't really say evergreen forest, do they? 
but they use that stamp set for a nice textural element and it kind of looks like a wave when it's done like that and look at that they stamped this up and colored it beautifully a nice little um stamp here that kind of creates a little bit of a picture of my life card right and then again here creating a little scene with the fun in the sun and this and then just fussy cutting around the top of it but leaving the bottom square so like I said as always you know you can always create just about anything with your stamps your Cricut cuts all those things so even though I'm sad that the picture of my life cards are no longer with us um <laughs> sounds so dramatic there's still plenty of ways to create any look you want so we've got uh, the Let's Kayak stamp for those of you who love to spend summer on the water. So we've got this one that says, The water is my happy place. You probably saw that in a sneak peek. We've got some lily pads. We've got this little sunshine on a what's up, um, which is stand up paddleboard. It took me a while the other day to figure that out. It's a stand up paddleboard. And look, he's on the stand up paddleboard. Let's kayak into the sunset, explore every river bend. Then there is a fishing rod and the double-ended kayaking paddle. We've got our life preserver, a nice little cool drink, and a fun little border with waves and trees. And then here is some art inspiration up at the top. I love how they've created a nice little scallop border with that mix-in paper in the honey butter. And then they've layered up some other mix-ins, as well as this one is from the fall, that paprika. And they've used it as the photo mats as well. Here they've got their uh, paddle and the little paddle board. They've got a couple of the life jackets. So fun. Even some of those seagulls from the um, Cape Cod embellishments on there. Beautiful. Love the colors on that with that bluebird as the base. All right, next page, we have Flowers Are Like Friends stamp set. I'm going to flip this one behind. Flowers Are Like Friends. So here is a gorgeous row of wildflowers growing. It's very similar to a few collections we have had in the past, but it's a little bit different scale, a little bit different flowers. So if you're somebody who really loves stamping with flowers it's nice to have different looks right you can mix and match and then I like that there's an individual flower as well we've got thinking of you we've got this little sort of splatter cluster and then we've got flowers are like friends they bring color to your world thank you your friendship means the world to me and here's some art inspiration at the top here I like how they've done a row of the flowers and they've colored it up I think just using the watercolor pencils they've done a little bit of splattering with sage in the background I like this little look see how this is darker right here they've used a bit of harbor but then this is the pattern paper in the sage from the mix-in collection so you see how they've kind of blocked it they made a dark strip there and then a nice pattern and they've got shortbread layered up there with a little bit of gel pen. And then again, that honey butter in, um, in the background. This one is kind of fun. Um, <laughs> we got upside down flowers. You know, you can do it any way you want it. And just to add a nice little pattern up there, they just flip their stamp around and stamped on either end of, of the card front. Works perfectly. I like how they have then put some of those tiny little dots from the mix-in that honey butter in the background nice little shortbread circle then they've added this on here with a little swash of the sage with a water brush or a stamp and then um, layered it up on top of the sage mix-ins beautiful and this one I think was colored with watercolor pencil and it might have been slightly activated like with a water brush sometimes what's nice to do with your watercolor pencils is to activate it with a clear shimmer brush like on florals and things like that because it creates such a beautiful look here we have the perched budgies stamp and thin cuts and um, just a little word if you love this stamp set and all the little birdies 
this particular piece here is only a thin cut. It is not a stamp. So if you don't want that cage, you can just buy the stamp set and you get all of this. But if you want this cage, then you'll have to get the stamp and thin cut, okay? Just as a caution, because sometimes people buy the stamp set and then they go, where's the cage? <laughs> you get the little one, but not the great big one. Only a thin cut. Okay, so we have a little row of budgies having a little, having a little conversation there. We've got this cute little budgie looking this way. We've got one that's looking this way. Two in silhouette in a cage. And then we've got a nice leaf. We've got hello there, thinking of you. Thanks, friend. We've got the little chain stamp for hanging the cage. The thin cut for the larger cage. And then we've got this sentiment here that says, There are souls in this world who have the gift of finding joy everywhere and of leaving it behind them when they go. And then here for our artspiration, we have this beautiful card here with the honey butter circles in the background, the nice little glacier check, and then layered up with some mist cardstock, a little bit of inking in behind this gorgeous sentiment. And then look at that. They just doubled up this stamped image here of the little budgies and colored them up and put them across the bottom. Again, some of those glittery um, dots from the Cozy Up collection. And then here we've got this one that's got some of the mix-in papers in the sage and the glacier. And then this um, birdcage has actually been cut out of the same pattern paper as this one that circles with little dots all over it in, sorry, the <laughs> The honey butter with little dots and then look they have done some stenciling of leaves in the background and then uh, sorry not stenciling some stamping of leaves in the background but then they have stamped and die cut leaves on top adding layers and then they've got the two birds here layered up together hanging out thinking of you and of course some little hearts because they're lovey devies <laughs> and they're thinking of each other on the next page, we have a beautiful floral, and this one looks um, a bit like one we had a while ago that was like a doodly one, but this is Pretty Posies Stamp and Thin Cuts, and um, I love how it's got incorporated in it the little stitch lines, which is really fun if you actually want to try and do some stitching on your own, if you get a little bit of embroidery thread and want to create the stitch lines in there. You've got a guide, and you can just poke the holes following the guide and add your own stitch lines in. Isn't that fun? It might be something I'll have to try. And I don't have this stamp set yet, but you know. <laughs> so it's the pretty posies. So you get happy with sympathy. Hello, friend. It's your day. You're the best. There's a nice little swaggy banner again with the stitch lines. And then there's some um, tiny flowers here and there. And then there's a few different stems that you can choose. And the good thing about this particular stem is there's no leaf on it that tells you anything. So you can turn it this way, you can turn it this way, so it'll bend either way, right? And it's a thin cut as well. And then some larger florals, some leaves in different shapes. And so let's take a look at the artwork. I love this. They've done some of these um, inked onto pattern paper and that's really fun to see that things have been cut out of pattern paper but not just one pattern paper this is one but then these two are out of a different pattern paper then this one is just on that looks like it's just stamped right on the base page along with these little guys and then these florals are stamped and thin cut out using white daisy and then a little bit of sparkles. I love how they got the bitty sparkles in there too. And then this one, look at this. It's not something I would think of, but now that I see it, I'm like, oh, I like it. They've got that beautiful mink leaf from the Mixin collection. They've got some twine. They've got a zip, uh, I was going to say that's a zip strip, but I think that's actually a stripe from the pattern paper from Cape Cod. They've got a You're the Best little bit of the... Um, <sighs> Ba, 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 bitty sparkles in there there's even a pearl right there look at that a little pearl and then or maybe it's an enamel dot and then there's a dot there too but look what they've done they've actually made the flowers go horizontal 
like this is a beautiful cluster like this. You could have taken this and put it this way and made a horizontal card. But I love that they just kind of stuck it on there sideways. It's very whimsical, very fresh colors, very cute, very lovely, very much summery, which, you know, this catalog is all about summer and fall. So this next page is quite interesting. This right here, this is our artwork. This right here is a floral frame card front thin cut. Um, and it's two pieces, okay? So there's the large one that cuts this whole thing, and then there's this shape that goes in the center. So, um, and then there's a stamp set that kind of goes with it. And for those of you who are participating today, um, this is the, um, the door prize today is this With Love stamp set. And it's got some lovely sentiments to my dearest, thinking of you, mother, father, happy birthday to the happy couple with love during this trying time. Thank you so much. Congrats. There's a lot of um, sentiments and a lot of occasions included in that stamp set, with I, which I think is really cool. So let's take a look at what this die cut does. So here they have cut um, this, what is it called? Floral frame thin cut on white daisy then they took a piece of paper and they did beautiful inking in an ombre in the back like they put that down first and then they put the thin cut on top the die cut and you can see all the beautiful inking showing through isn't that gorgeous and then they even did an ombre on the stamping in the center and what they did was for this one they took this and cut it out separately and layered it up with some foam tape on there a little bit of sparkles and then this one they have cut out the whole thing and they've just layered it on white but they've done it with this beautiful periwinkle color and then they added the sentiment in here thank you so much stamped in mm, seabrook maybe yeah i think seabrook and it's a different look right this one is very um colorful and fun and gorgeous and this one is very elegant and it may, makes me think of Wedgwood China. <laughs> I don't know about you. My mom has Wedgwood China and that just reminds me of it. So that is the floral frame card front and the with love stamp set. And again, that's going to be our door prize draw today, which is right here. Do, 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 do. So you get all those lovely sentiments. Beautiful. Okay. So this next page, this page made me happy. Uh, I don't know about you, but it made me lots of happy. And so this stamp set here is why am I sending this stamp set? And I, of course, had to get it because it made me happy. And so you're going to see me using that a lot. Um, let me just tell you why I'm chuckling. It says here, remember, you can be anything you want to be except younger. <laughs> Some of our best times haven't even happened yet. You are my person. Without me, you're just also. <laughs> I, this is my favorite though, of course. Why am I sending you this card? I knew a minute ago. And then there's happy birthday. And then it's hard to find a friend that's so amazing in every way. My advice is you don't lose me. You know, no ego there, right? So here we've got some gorgeous stamping done in an ombre using honey butter and paprika going all the way down. And then they stamped this um, again using the pine and then fussy cut it out and layered it on top. Some gorgeous little leaves that have been added there. That's probably from the Sprigs and Sentiments. You know, those are good to keep once you've done that card front die cut. Um, you're going to have all those little leafy goodnesses, so you're going to need a little container to contain them all, and then just tuck them in on all your cards. I love, they've just layered up with cardstock with a little bit of gel, um, white gel pen border. Here we've got um, that zip strip from the mix-ins that's got the rope, and then we've got pine and rosemary and that honey butter check from the mix-ins as well. Here we've got that gorgeous toffee dot. Isn't that lovely? 
from the mix-ins. And then in here, this is that um, paprika paper from the Cozy Up that has all the words on it. And they've stamped right on there and they did some heat embossing on this little bit. So you just do a little masking and a little either white daisy pigment ink or Versamark ink and white heat embossing. And then they've added another circle in the pine, pine or, yeah, pine. I think it's the light side of pine maybe. And then layered it up here. I love they did a bit of inking before they did the white heat embossing. They've got white gel pen going on there. Some more of those little leaves, because once you get started on those, you're going to be tucking leaves everywhere. And a few little yellow dots. Little hearts. This second page, this is called One of Those Days Stamp Set. And you know, it's got little critters on it, and they're just so dang sweet. I had to get it. <laughs> I sure did. And so it's called One of Those Days. Look at this little fox. Oh, my word, doesn't he look like he's had a day? <laughs> he's just like, he's got all the little, little sprigs and leaves and acorns and burrs and things stuck in him. And this little owl, look, 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 oh my goodness, it's just so frazzled. And the little squirrel. Okay, the best part about this little squirrel are his feet. <laughs> he's just, this is little feetsies. Oh, it's just so cute. But he's just like, can you please help me out? I have had a day. So it says, I know it's been a day, week, year, so over this, just one of those days, maybe chocolate will help. <laughs> it's just, it's the best. And then I love this little squiggle. This is just like, you know, you'll see it here in a minute. And there's little stars. <laughs> so up here, they've got the little squirrel and he's got that little squiggle above his head, like kind of tucked underneath. And he's just like, I know it's been a day. <laughs> you ever have those days? I know you've had those days. Maybe chocolate will help. They've got the gorgeous um, um, uh, shortbread in behind here. And they've stamped on top using the little stars to create their own little pattern paper. The honey butter plaid. That beautiful color zip strip from the uh, mix-in collection. A nice little circle with a little bit of stickles on there layered up with some mocha and some paprika. This little guy was colored with watercolor pencils. I love that. Maybe chocolate will help. And I think they even took the little um, clear sparkles and colored them with a dark green marker. And they did the same thing over here. If you're doing that technique where you're coloring with marker, um, let it sit for a while. Color it right on the carrier sheet because that just makes everything easier and you won't get marker all over your paper. And then, um, and then stick them on after you've given them a little bit of time to dry. And then again, this gorgeous plaid from the mix-ins, this toffee plaid, layered up with some paprika and pine and avocado, stamped in avocado. Just one of those days. So over this, I love they put little stitch lines to emphasize it. And they've colored up this cute little fox with all this little leaves, even tucked some of those um, cozy up sticker leaves in behind. He's got little stars over his head. Oh my goodness. Can, can you just not see how cute that is and why I had to have it? <laughs> Maybe chocolate will help. Uh, for all of you who have gone to the retreat at my mom's house, you know that her house is literally a two and a half, three minute walk from the chocolate factory. <laughs> it's very dangerous. So if chocolate can help, come to the retreat and we can we can certainly show you where to find some chocolate. Next page, look at the fun stuff happening on here. Now, I didn't purchase any of these yet, but um, we've got a Need for Speed stamp set happening over here. So for those of you who like racing of any kind, um, this works for you because it looks like it should be for cars and it is indeed somewhat for cars but it also works for bike racing and um track racing things so we've got race day i love racing need for speed so we've got a speedometer on here you could always mask that off if you didn't need that number one champion my heart is on that track proud so this this is for the person watching right? My heart is on that track. Uh, proud of my checkered past. I think that's cute. It's a checkered flag kind of day. 
race wife. We've got some flags. Weekends are for racing. And then here's our little art inspiration happening up here. I love that they used um, cardstock, but also those patterns from the mix-ins. And even from, I, that one's the paprika from um, Cozy Up. They've used it here and here. And they've also kind of mirrored what's happening. But it's like a checkered flag. But it's a whole rainbow of patterns and cardstocks. And then they've reused those same colors up at the top to make the little flags. And look at this. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. They're just, <laughs> it doesn't have to be NASCAR, right? It can be anything. And so cute. They've done a little bit of splattering in the background. I love just the, the black, nice borders on there. And in behind, it really kind of accentuates all those colors. And I like that they left a lot of white space. That helps too when you're using so many colors. This next page, it's called Let's Play Stamp. And we've got some fun things on here. We've got a rocket ship. We've got a car. We've got a soccer ball. We've got some beach toys, stars, a bunch of different stars. Legos, look at that. Or Duplos, any of those things. Let's play. Love this boy. Awesome. There's a dinosaur. There's a truck. Cool kid. Wild thing. We've got some arrows, various arrows. Awesome. Very pretty. So this layout up here has been done with some nice primary-ish colors. We've got candy apple, bluebird, lagoon, and honey butter going on here. And I find that um, layouts, especially for young kids, um, look always look nice and bold and crisp when they're done in the um, primary colors, right? So we've got that gorgeous honey butter um, check in the background. They've used that one a lot. Um, I might need to get more of that mix in. <laughs> and then a lovely zip strip. I love how they made the little cars and stars into a border. How fun is that? And we've got the little dump truck. And look, they've piled up the Legos. You just do a little masking or do some fussy cutting. And you pile up the Legos inside the dump truck. And then here's some little toys over here. They've used the other little star to create another border along here. Added on a tag with some inking. We've got the little rocket ship. We've got the awesome. So fun. I love how you can use stamps to create just about anything. You really, truly can. So that's Let's Play Stamp. Very cute. Our next page we have, we have an A-plus teacher stamp set and a school friends stamp set. And... <laughs> Like I said, we just got out of school. Now, if you're in the States, you got out a couple weeks ago. But here, literally, my daughter's had one day of vacation. <laughs> and we're already thinking about school again. Oh, but anyway, we've got an A-plus teacher stamp set. Thank you, teacher. It takes a big heart to shape little minds. Thanks for helping me grow. The absolute best teacher ever. A-plus teacher. I love this little heart in my hand. And look at these happy little crayons. Aren't they the sweetest? And then up here we've got some card inspiration. We have, um, and I'm actually thinking that this has actually been hand drawn. The little diagonal stripe on there. Well, probably with a ruler. Um, and then our background in the lovely peach. This is papaya done with some gel pen and a little bit of inking around the edges. We've got some hearts and sparkles. I love the little triangles on the corners using the nectarine. And there's even a little bit of glitter paper or shimmer trim going through there. This wreath has been all colored up using the watercolor pencils. And then look what they did here. They used this little crayon stamp down here, down here. <laughs> Sorry, I moved it so you can see. The little crayon stamp to create the background on here. Isn't that super fun? And then, of course, layering up some lagoon and the glacier um, mix in a little bit of um, sparkle here. Actually, I noticed the sparkle doesn't travel all the way down. <laughs> Interesting. Um, and then this gorgeous banner with that lovely sentiment on there. Some little enamel dot hearts all over with a few sparkles. So pretty. Next page we have school friends stamp and of course it comes with some thin cuts if you want 
Isn't this sweet? Look at all these little friends. We've got a lion with his little backpack and his book. And there's a giraffe. He's got his backpack on. And this little bear. And he's got um, a little something in his hand. Maybe that's his class schedule. He's got his glasses. A little penguin with a book. Look at the owl. He's got books on his head. He's got books to spare. And then we've got the elephant. He's got his little backpack on. We've got all the places you'll go. Homework, learn, first day of school. We've got a pencil, a couple stars, a ruler, um, uh, an apple, and some little star border. So let's take a look at what was created with this. So here we have a nice double page 12 by 12 layout. And again, making use of those mix-in papers. I love how much the mix-ins get shown in the catalog. We've got the gorgeous toffee dot and the mink plaid and then there's some glacier and green apple strips going down there. There's some sage of the um, mix-in paper and then over here they've done stripes of the cardstock and over here they did banners. I like that. It's a little bit different on each side and here they've used the learn and the stars, I don't know if you can see it, to stamp on this orange. They did um, a white gel pen stitching down this side. And then on the edge of the yellow, they used the ruler over and over again to create a little border. And then, of course, adding in our little critters, a little bit of splatter. Here they used um, the stars stamps just to create a little cluster around these two guys. These guys were all colored with the watercolor pencils. Look at this nice big batch of splattering here and here. So pretty. And I think they even colored the, um, the little sparkles too so that they kind of matched in. That's the great thing about those clear sparkles is that you can add color to them, right? <laughs> and let me see. My video, of course, on my laptop has died. Um, but it's still going on my on my phone. This is why I have two going at the same time. <laughs> so hopefully I haven't missed any of your comments. Next we have Tooth Fairy. We've got this Tooth Fairy stamp set. And then we've got All Smiles and Love to See You Grow. So let's take a closer look. This one here is the Tooth Fairy stamp set. I like that they included different teeth. We've got one that looks all clean and shiny with little sparkles and a happy face. And this one is one that's getting all scrubbed up with his toothbrush. And then we've got the little tooth fairy here. We've got a crown and her little, her little wand or his wand. Could be him. We've got time for a checkup. Open wide. I lost my first tooth. Um, I like that these are separate because you can say I lost another tooth, right? And then we've got some little stars and hearts and an arrow. And then look at this, this little border. Oh my goodness, it's a whole bunch of little teeth with the braces going across it. <laughs> and they're all, all the little teeth are holding hands. Oh, isn't that cute? And then we've got all smiles, which is hopefully what we see when we get out of the dentist. And then this other little stamp set is called Love to See You Grow. Got cute little flowers going there, two different kinds of fonts, actually three different kinds of fonts on that one. I love this all smiles, has like a little smile in the M. And then let's take a look at the inspiration up here. Look at this gorgeous um, strips of cardstock going all the way across. You can create your own stripey border. Just take strips of cardstock, fill up a sheet as big as you want with strips of cardstock, and then just slice it. And there you've got nice little border strips. There's also a little bit of glitter paper or shimmer trim here and here and a little bit of the sapphire mixed in as well. I love some of these gorgeous, fun, colored acrylic shapes added on there along with the stamping and the clear sparkles. Here they've created their own little picture my life card type um, moment, right? With time for checkup and this cute little I lost my first tooth, a little scrubby dubby going on. These little guys hanging out over here. I like this big circle in the flamingo. And again, they've drawn a little bit on the on the border. And some journaling strips. If you don't like your own handwriting, print it out on the printer. Just get that journaling on there. 
I love the scalloped -y edge too in the periwinkle. So pretty. Moving over to this side. Oh my goodness, aren't these little guys cute? They're so cute. It's a cute pandas stamp set. They said it right in the name. Cute pandas. And I love these. There are seven little pandas all in different poses. We've got this little guy with heart. And look, his little his little toes and paws are little hearts. And then we've got this little guy. He's kind of jumping and running. This one's kind of taking a walk. This one looks a little, a little shy. It's a little shy. This guy, he's got little heart paws too, but he's not holding a heart. And he's kind of looking off in this direction. This little guy is giving a wave. And this guy, little guy is having a sleep. I like that there's a little swag here. There's an envelope. There's hearts. There's so many little stamps on this. There's an arrow. There's a little waffle heart. A little cupcake. Some leaves. Some flowers. A star. A little flag. Another star. Some music notes. A balloon. A present. So many different things you can do with these little guys. And here we go. We've got the Love to See You Grow stamp from the other page. Look at these two holding the little banner there, and they've stamped it in multiple colors and fussy cut it out so you get a multicolor banner. How fun is that? And you can just do that with some masking. And then you've got a nice little balloon. I love that they used the, um, the little heart cluster here to create this background on, uh, on glacier paper. Just doing some tone-on-tone -tone stamping. Look at this. Double matted in the mulberry and the periwinkle. So pretty. And all this fun stamping across here. But then it jumps and it comes down to here. I love that they used all different colors. A nice little cluster of presents and balloons and cupcakes. And then even the leaves were stamped here to create pattern paper. How pretty is that? So fun. I think that... We could have a lot of fun with that one, right? <laughs> All right, next page. This looks a little bit more fall over here. This one is an all seasons. Remember last year when we had the four seasons um, collection? This is very similar in that, um, look at this. I already had that stamp set too and didn't show it to you. This um, stamp set, ta-da, is called the Seasonal Goodie Basket. <coughs> And you remember last year we had the truck that had things from all the different seasons. So now we've got a basket, but it's not just a basket. No, no, no. It's not just a basket. It's a basket and a crate. <laughs> it's, like a, it's a twofer. And in your basket, in your crate, you can have a nice little bow. You can have a pile of apples, eggs, some hearts, some stars and pinwheels and firecrackers. You can have um, some pumpkins and gourds, some florals, and some presents. So it can be birthday, Christmas, Halloween, Thanksgiving, summer, uh, New Year's, Valentine's, anniversaries, um, back to school, fall picking apples, Easter, and any time of year. <laughs> We've covered all the seasons, haven't we? And so on, in the thin cuts, so if you get it with thin cuts, you also get a little handle for your basket and a little cut out notch for your crate. Um, if you just do the stamps, you don't get the handle and the little notch cut out, out, cut out for your crate. So here we have layered up a whole bunch of different shades of green. We've got rosemary, dark and light. We've got some... A uh, little bit of sparkle, and I think that is in the, maybe Seabrook, Seabrook glitter. Then there's, um, I think that's French vanilla. We've got some mink, and then we've got some sage happening here, or Seabrook, sorry, Seabrook. And then even this is the, um, that lovely scripty or text paper from the Cozy Up collection, layered up with this that I think has just been lightly inked, stamped, journal, penned all the way around. We've got little fall leaves in the background. Remember how I said that petite pattern was great for cards? And then we've got our bow and our basket and our flowers. And those have been colored with 
watercolor pencils. Here we've done some inking in the background in an ombre of um, looks like honey butter and things happening there. We've got some of that wood grain from the Cape Cod collection. We've got the rope zip strip from the mix-ins and we've got the cozy up uh, pattern text paper. Oh my goodness, we've got all three things happening. Mix-ins, Cape Cod, and Cozy Up. And then, of course, this one has a double border. I've drawn on there some little gourds, a nice little crate, a few little flags, a little bit of glitter in there as well. So pretty. On this page, we have the In Autumn stamp set. And we have done quite a few stamp sets that have um, a woman in various poses doing various things. <laughs> Sounds kind of sketchy, but you know what I mean. So here she is, she's got sort of her autumn gear, a nice um, fuzzy um, hoodie or zippy on, and um, scarf, she's got long hair, she's got her hot beverage in her hand, jeans and her boots, and then we have a bunch of little sentiments and things here. We've got autumn essentials, clipboard, sweater, book, pumpkin spice, warm socks, blessed, thankful, grateful with little hearts, nice to make a little border. We've got a letter and a pen, pumpkin, basket of apples. This one, <laughs> I've kind of gone around the block with this one. This could be a decanter. Could be a decanter. Could be a bug zapper. <laughs> could be a lantern. Um, so I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> what, what would that be? It could even be an interesting chess piece. I don't know. Harvest time. Current mood is autumn, gather, and then this pumpkin full of gorgeous florals. Here's our little inspiration. And I wasn't, <laughs> you know, I was trying to figure out what that was. And this didn't help me because it kind of looks like either a lantern or a decanter. So <laughs> I was trying to use the artwork to determine it. And it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't helping. Then we've got this gorgeous um, plaid on mink background. There's, they've used some linen in here. I like that they've added in some nice neutrals. Also some wisteria. So a little pop of purple coming in there as well. And some mist for a little bit of darker tones. And then the nectarine and paprika happening here as well. Very much fall and cozy and comfy. I like how they stamped um, right on the papers there. Not everything has to be fussy cut. <gasps> Did I actually say that out loud? <laughs> And then they've created a nice little scene there with the the stamps and beautifully colored. That looks like it's done with marker. All right. Turning the page. More autumn because, you know, tis the season. We've got Hey Friend stamp. And you can, of course, get it with thin cuts. And, uh, you know, because it's cute, I had to get it. So we've got the cute little scarecrow and all his little things. Let me show you in the book, because sometimes that's a little easier to see than through the envelope. So we've got this cute little scarecrow. Isn't he so sweet? And I like that instead of having just pokey little straw coming out of him, he's got like little leafy things. That's kind of fun. And look, a nice little corn stalk. We've got a bucket of pumpkins. So there's going to be lots of crates. If you want to make a whole like harvest, you know, going to the... Um, farmer's market, we've got all sorts of things in baskets and crates <laughs> in these stamp sets. It, you can create a whole bevy of harvest goodness. Another little pumpkin, a little viney and leaves. I miss hanging out with you. Isn't that so cute? <laughs> hey, you. You know, like, hey, moo, cow, hey. Beautiful sunflower, some little leafies or they could be grain in a very cartoony way you amaze me great for going through one of those corn mazes in the fall autumn and then some leaves and pumpkins many friend thanks greetings wishes so cute let's take a look at the art i love this honey butter dots from the mix-ins we've got again that paper keeps coming up it's such a good pattern Nice circle in the center with the autumn greetings, and I like how they layered up um, first and second generation stamping with that little leaf pattern. We've got our corn in here layered up with the pumpkins and more pumpkins. Pumpkins, pumpkins, and more pumpkins. 
This little guy, look at him. He's hanging out in the field. <clears throat> They've got the corn stalks just stamped first, second, third generation in the background there to create a whole field. I love how they added in some color around him with the leaves. And those are just tone on tone stamped right onto cardstock and cut out. You Amaze Me with a little bit of gel pen stitched under there. We've got the Mocha Plaid from the Cozy Up Collection and a little bit of Paprika cardstock as well. And he's been colored up with watercolor pencils. So cute. Okay, I had to get this one. Every time Close to My Heart does a nice big leaf, I say, oh, I don't know if I need that. And then later on, I have, you know... I regret my life choices. And so this time they had a nice big leaf and I said, I'm going to get it this time. Because <laughs> I keep passing on them. And I felt like I wanted some leaves this year. So this is Leaf Line Art. I'm getting quite a stack piled up there now of stamp sets. So Leaf Line Art. And it's got one, two, three, four, five gorgeous leaves. I did not get mine with thin cuts, but you can get them with thin cuts. And then if you look up here, you can see what they created here in the art department. Oh my goodness, I love that they have this gorgeous mist background layered up with some of the mix-ins. They've got some glitter, all the good things, right? Some inking in behind here. But look at this collection of large size, gorgeous leaves and they have all been done. There's no coloring. This layout has no coloring on it. They just used all the scarlet, mist, glacier, seabrook, sage, pine, sundance, and shortbread papers and tone-on-tone -tone stamped and just cut them out. So pretty. I love the torn paper edges along here on the seabrook and the the white daisy that might actually be French vanilla hard to say and they've added some more clustered over here so pretty and of course this photo goes just perfectly with that <clears throat> so that's the leaf line art and then turning over the page this is a whole page about sports which is not a thing in my house but it is a thing for a lot of people these are the sports with heart stamps and you can get them individually so there is volleyball and tennis and swimming, and then soccer, rugby, hockey, golf. I'm having to read it at the bottom. That's how much sports we do in our house. Golf, football, cricket, cheer, basketball, and baseball. So there we go. And they've all got a little heart on them. Turning over here to the artwork. You may have seen my final um, uh, sneak peek, and it was uh, a little snippet of this. And you probably all looked at it and went, huh? <laughs> but it just showed some of the gorgeous colors and mix-ins. So I love how they've done the stripes. Of course, you don't have to do a stripe all the way across. You can just cut little chunks and move them. But they have layered them up here. They've got capri and the wood grain and some avocado and some honey butter, and then the sapphire pattern, again, repeating the wood grain and capri, and then they've added in this little avocado plaid and some sapphire. I love that they've done some sponging and splattering in behind here. In fact, that might actually be a background stamp, one of those splatter stamp. They've done this with oxides, so they've splattered with a little bit of water and lifted some of the color off too. And then just adding in those stamps, they've got some cut out stamped <clears throat> alphabets to match and layering up with some of those gorgeous blue dots, blue enamel dots. I like how they colored this. They add the little, the little extra heart in there. They did some shading, all that fun stuff. And then there's some more ideas down here at the bottom where you can do baseball and tennis and swimming. Nice little three by three cards. Very cute. All right. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're almost there. If you need a time to stretch, it's coming soon. This next page. Oh, my goodness. We have this setting the scene stamp set, which I got. 
And the reason I got this was because I'm a fan of Winnie the Pooh. I don't know if you know that about me, but I am a fan of Winnie the Pooh. And um, it took me a minute to realize when I was looking at this, you get um, sort of these ink swashy things. You get clouds, you get a sun, you get lovely journaling lines. So if you've been looking for a nice little stamp set for journaling lines, this is really fun, this little stitched line. And then you get these stitch swirly lines with leaves. And that reminds me of Winnie the Pooh when it's a rather blustery day, right? And But then I started looking at this text. And you need to have really good eyes or you need to take a picture of it with your phone and zoom in on it to see these words. But it starts out like this. In which we are introduced to Winnie the Pooh and some bees. And the stories begin here. Um, begins here. Is Edward Bear coming downstairs. Now bump, bump, bump on the back of his head behind Christopher Robin. It is, as far as he knows, the only way of coming downstairs. But sometimes he feels that there really is another way. If only he could stop bumping for a moment and think of it. And then he feels that perhaps there isn't. Anyhow, here he is at the bottom and ready to be introduced to you, Winnie the Pooh. When I first heard his name, I said, just as you were going to say, but I thought he was a boy. So, the, so did I, said Christopher Robin. Then you can't call him Winnie. I don't, but you said he's Winnie the Pooh. Don't you know that the means? <laughs> it's a whole little story from Winnie the Pooh. How cute is that? When you stamp it, not really anybody will notice. It just looks like a lovely little text for the background. Anyway, up here, look at this gorgeousness that has been created. Look at all of this fun, swashy goodness happening in the background here. There is raspberry, capri, lagoon, seabrook, sage, sundance, melon, and mink. And if you're wondering where I'm getting the colors for everything, if you look on your page, you will see one of these, and those tell you all the colors that are in here. So if you ever look at something in the catalog, oh, what color is that? Then that gives you the good hint. I love how they created the little scene. This is called setting the scene. They created some nice little clouds and a sun. They've done some stamping. These are fun stamps. You'll see them in a minute. They've even used this swashy stamp down here in behind the word, the letters for the word days. I've done some of the journaling lines just as a bit of a texture. I love these circles that they've created here. They use the text stamping here to create some texture, some more um, of the clouds and the journaling lines here to write out the story. So fun. I love all the layers. They've got the Seabrook in the background, then they've got the raspberry, then they've got the neck, the Sundance, then they've got the white, then they've got the melon, then they've got, <laughs> like it's just layers upon layers upon layers, plus all the fun colors that they've created across here. So pretty. Moving over to the next page, we have the Hey Hi Hello Borders stamp set. Always nice to have a fun border to work with. So we've got, hey, hi, hello, repeated all the way across. We've got some cute little hearts and dots. And we've got some daisies, some little swizzly lines with stitching. And then a cute little border that has flowers and bumblebees and butterflies and little hearts and little dots and little grasses and all sorts of fun summery things. So up here... In this layout, you can see they've used some raspberry, nice pop of raspberry in the back. Um, just because our we're not doing Picture My Life cards does not mean we no longer have pocket pages. We still have pocket pages. Um, and so you can see here they have created their own little Picture My Life cards using stamps and cardstock and inks to create their own look, which is super fun. On the back here, they've used each of the um, borders to create a nice little color um, grid going down. They've even done some drawing. If you're not comfortable with the journaling lines freehand, this person used a ruler. 
this fun little title here. You'll see that in a second. They've used the same letters to create the word swim and um, probably just a white gel pen to divide them up there or, or, it's probably the or, they used a white base and then they used the raspberry and um, then fussy cut and stuck on top. That's probably more likely. I love they used the borders again over here but without the colored cardstock to create a nice little card. I love this. That is the scalloped small circle um, for going around a shaker. That's what they've used here. They've done some gloss spray splatter. They've made a little tag with the hello, hello, hey, hi, hello. Um, I love this. All the little strips of paper here to create a border and then some journaling. So there's lots of ways here. They did sort of like a Polaroid, but they used the um, floral and bees and things across here and a few little white gel pen dots. Lots of ways to create um, things for those pocket pages, even if we don't have the Picture My Life card. So and there's that alphabet that you saw in the last few layouts. So this is something new that they're going to be doing too, is in their two-month catalogs, they're going to be adding in some things that have traditionally been seen in um, the year-long catalog. So this is the Blooming Alphabet Stamp Set. And let me just bring it a little closer so you can see. So there's florals and bees and butterflies all hanging out on here. So there's the whole alphabet. And then there's also the numbers and an exclamation and a question and then some of the icons. So the butterfly, um, the florals and the bees and the little swirly lines. How fun is that? So that's available during uh, July and August. And then we get to the stamp of the month. So we're almost done the catalog. This is the July stamp of the month that you've seen. The bees knees. The bees knees. And so there's a gorgeous bee and a beehive just because thinking of you, sweet friend, hi, celebrate every moment, you're the bee's knees, I like this little honeycomb floral, and then there's another piece of the honeycomb, there's some little tiny honeycomb-y things, little diamondy pattern, little extra flowers, little strip of flowers, so many things, let's take a look at the artwork. I love what they did here. They used that little honeycomb right here to do some first and second generation stamping in the background. So it's just barely there. Um, but then you see the nice beehive and all the beautiful florals. And then they added in some inking behind the thinking of you, sweet friend. And so pretty. Then on this one, I like what they did. See how they repeatedly stamped this one? They just turned it so that the floral was at the bottom and repeat stamped it all the way across to create that really fun honeycomb border. I think that's my favorite little little bit out of this whole thing. <laughs> just that. Just that. That makes me happy. And then they used this little diamond D to create this little swash of pattern going across the beautiful bee with all the coloring that's done. Again, they used a swash of color in the just because, like so. And um, how cute is that? A little bit of gold glitter gems. Why not? In the bee's knees. Deserves some gold glitter gems. And so, stamp. July stamp of the month. And then our last one is the August stamp of the month. It's called Goodbye Isn't Forever. And it's got this really pretty scene, a nice little river and a little bridge, a couple trees. Um, looks nice and autumn-y. And actually, I said that was a river. It could be a river, but it could also be a path because it looks like the path is actually going to the bridge. So opposite of a river. This is the path. Makes sense why the bench is there. Um, you know, sometimes. Sometimes my brain works. Some clouds, an extra little um, tree over here, and then the sentiments. I hope you can find some comfort in the stories, the laughs, and all the joyful memories that will be with you forever. 
thinking of you, hello, praying for you in your loss, goodbye, isn't forever, love is. So here we have some artwork that's been done. I love how this looks like a watercolor painting. And um, they, this is why I thought it was a river, because they actually colored it blue like a river. But because it actually leads to the bridge, I think it's a path. <laughs> but you can totally do it any way you want. And some little cloud inking in the background, very, very subtle. Over here, they've used some of those mix-ins to create some nice little stripes. A little bit of avocado here to give the impression of grass along with the single tree. They used the fancy um, brackets thin cut um, and flipped it vertically to create this um, sentiment spot. A little bit of inking in behind there and the clouds and a little bit of inking in the background too. Maybe a little bit of splatter as well. Very, very soft and very, very subtle and pretty. So that is the end of the catalog. And again, our Change the World stamp set, which is the Operation Smile stamp set, is still available for just a little while before the new one comes out. And um, this is a wonderful stamp set. I have been using it. And the great thing about it is that it goes for supporting Operation Smile. So every stamp set that is purchased, $7 US gets donated to Operation Smile. And so you don't even have to think about it. All you got to do is buy and use a beautiful stamp set. <laughs> and your money can be going to Operation Smile. And that is a wonderful organization. So that is the July, August, Close to My Heart catalog. I hope you guys saw some inspiration. I hope you're excited about what's in there. <clears throat> and just to keep you on your toes... Uh, we are going to be doing some games throughout the day, and I'm going to do some live crafting videos. And um, uh, so be sure to keep checking back and seeing what's going on. I'm going to post about uh, today's special as well. Uh, it's going to be the standard, the standard. So if you place an order today of $60 or more, I will reimburse you the $10.95 um, a discount of $10.95 on your shipping. And um, if you place the same $60 or more order, you also get your name in the mystery house draw for um, whoever wins it gets $25 off their next order. How awesome is that? I know it's always the same, but it's a good one. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and be sure to pop in. I will be back on at um, 1.30 for a crafting session. So we will see you then at 1.30. Toodaloo. Bye.